Hi, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, auspicious events, I guess is what I'm um, going to call this. <clears throat> uh, I called my mom and my sister. Uh, my sister lives in Pittsburgh and mom lives in uh, Canada. And both of them got talking about uh, the East Coast weather. <clears throat> and uh, I have been avoiding the news, uh, basically because, uh, well, the presidential thing. I don't uh, really care. Uh, I hear that the storm has hurt uh, the Mormon. I don't know his name. But at any rate, uh, they were talking about the storm. My cousin, who's on the East Coast, was enduring the storm. And, and so I thought, well, maybe I should look at the storm. And uh, Sandy, I guess, has created quite a disrupt there. Now, I've been through quite a few storms uh, uh Living in Texas, you get to go through um, uh, hurricanes and things like that, and those are quite exciting. Uh, years ago, I was uh, looking at, uh, uh, there was a Cecile or something. It was in the 80s coming through, and it was supposed to be a big one. A friend of mine was living down around Clear Lake, and uh, he uh, called me and said, you know, is it possible for us to come up and stay up, up with you for a couple of days? Because I was up further north in Houston where it was going to be a little bit safer and I said yeah in fact he said I said tell me when you're coming up and I said because I'll uh, arrange a place to leave the key you can actually have the apartment I said I'm I said these things terrify me I said I'm actually on a plane tomorrow to go to Canada and he said they scare you that much I said no Mark <laughs> I've had, had this trip planned for quite some time I'm not running from the hurricane. He said, wait, think you're going far enough? <laughs> but that's not what I, I, I got sidetracked just a little bit. I was reading the news last night and looking at some of the damage and, and I'm not minimizing anybody's suffering or anything like that. But yesterday, or the day before yesterday, October 29th, was my birthday. And I read that for the first time in 27 years that the New York Stock Exchange uh, was shut down because of weather on October 29th, 2012. And I consider that quite a birthday present. I'm not a fan of the stock exchange. Uh, I hear something like 2% of investors do well in the stock exchange. Uh, and I think it's a tough way to make money. I have no interest in it. I think a lot of it is, it is scamming people and, and taking their money. But if they're going to try to make their money that, that way, um, I like Vegas. I do. No, I don't. I go there and work. I'm not crazy about it. But if you're going to ride the stock market, why not go to Vegas? You know, learn how to count cards or something. But I just thought it was rather auspicious that on my birthday, the New York Stock Exchange, I'm going to take some credit for it. Okay? Anthony Robbins said if a miracle happens within 50 miles of him, it's his. <laughs> so it happened on my birthday. It's mine. Thanks for listening. www.micpeakperformance.com.